this video will provide a brief introduction to the concept of gene disease validity, as well as an overview of ClinGen's gene disease validity classification system. The Clinical Genome Resource, or ClinGen, is an NIH-funded entity dedicated to building a publicly available genomic knowledge base of curated information in an effort to improve patient care through genomic medicine. ClinGen will utilize genomic and health data shared by patients, clinicians, researchers, and laboratories to answer critical questions about genes, genetic changes, and human health. Results of curation activities to answer these questions will be provided back to the public through our own website, www.clinicalgenome.org, NCBI's ClinVar, and other resources. A critical component in building this genomic knowledge base is the evaluation of evidence implicating a gene in human disease or the clinical validity of a gene disease pair. Clinical validity of a laboratory test is defined as a test's ability to consistently and accurately detect or predict the outcome of interest. The clinical validity of a genetic test is therefore the ability to accurately detect the correct disorder presenting in the individual being tested. Accurately diagnosing the disorder requires correctly identifying the causative variant within the appropriate gene. Thus, one must consider the clinical relevance of the variant and the gene itself. How strong is the evidence that variation in that gene causes the disease in question? As one of its goals, the ClinGen Gene Curation Working Group has developed a framework to standardize the approach to determine the clinical validity for a gene disease pair. This framework defines the criteria needed to assess clinical validity, quantifies the evidence supporting a gene disease association, and allows curators to use this information to methodically classify the validity of a given gene disease pair. This framework is currently optimized for genes associated with monogenic disorders. It is distinct from and is not meant to be suitable for the well-established statistical thresholds used for genome-wide association studies or validated methods to define multifactorial disease risk. Future iterations will expand the framework to consider the evaluation for oligogenic or multifactorial conditions. This original framework was described in a 2017 publication in the American Journal of Human Genetics, PMID 28552198, and in a detailed standard operating procedures document, which is updated periodically and available on our website. In the ClinGen clinical validity curation process, there are six classifications used to qualitatively describe the strength of evidence documenting a gene disease association. These terms do not reflect the effect size or relative risk attributable to variants in a particular gene and should not be used as such. For example, a definitive gene disease association does not imply that variation in that gene confers 100% penetrance of the phenotype. Please note that for the four classifications filled in blue, no valid conflicting evidence can exist. The ClinGen gene disease validity classifications shown here are published in the 2017 article in American Journal of Human Genetics and are also available on our website, www.clinicalgenome.org. For a gene disease association to be considered definitive, the role of the gene in this particular disease must have been repeatedly demonstrated in both the research and clinical diagnostic settings. This association must also be upheld over time, in general, at least three years. Examples include CFTR and cystic fibrosis, FGFR3 and achondroplasia, etc. A strong association between a gene and disease should be independently demonstrated in multiple, meaning two or more studies, providing strong supporting evidence for this gene's role in disease, such as strong variant level evidence demonstrating numerous unrelated probands with variants that provide convincing evidence for disease causality, as well as compelling gene level evidence from different types of supporting experimental data. The distinguishing feature between strong and definitive gene disease associations is replication over time. Strong gene disease pairs are typically newer associations, for example, made within the last three years. As long as no contradictory evidence emerges, strong gene disease pairs should move up to definitive after the allotted amount of time has passed.
For gene disease associations with moderate evidence, there are typically several unrelated probands with variants that provide convincing evidence for disease causality and moderate experimental data supporting the gene disease association. The role of this gene in disease may not have been independently reported. However, there should not be any convincing evidence that contradicts the role of the gene in this noted disease. For gene disease associations with limited evidence to support a causal role for this gene in this disease, there are typically fewer than three observations of variants that provide convincing evidence for disease causality, or variants have been considered in probands, but none have sufficient evidence for disease causality, and there is limited experimental data supporting this gene disease association. The no known disease relationship classification includes genes with no evidence reported for a causal role in disease. These genes might be candidate genes based on animal models or implication in pathways known to be involved in human diseases, but no reports have directly implicated the gene in human disease cases. For genes with conflicting evidence reported, an assertion of a gene disease association exists but conflicting evidence for the role of this gene in disease has arisen since the time of the initial report indicating a gene disease association. Depending on the quality and quantity of evidence disputing the association, the gene disease association may be further defined by the following two subcategories. Disputed, in which contradictory evidence need not outweigh existing evidence supporting the gene disease association, or refuted, in which evidence refuting the role of the gene in the specified disease has been reported and significantly outweighs any evidence supporting the role. These designations are to be applied at the discretion of the clinical domain experts after thorough review of available evidence. To determine the appropriate gene disease clinical validity classification for a given gene disease pair, one must review both genetic and experimental evidence available supporting and or contradicting the gene disease relationship. ClinGen has developed a scoring system to guide the evaluator to a preliminary classification. This scoring system is reviewed in detail in another video available on our channel. Please note that these point values are intended to facilitate a preliminary assessment of the gene disease association. Either the initial curator or expert reviewer may provide a specific rationale for an alternate classification that would supersede the provisional classification. This approach provides a transparent method for curators to summarize and assess all curated evidence for a gene disease pair and encourages consistency between curators with differing levels of expertise. One of the potential uses of a gene disease clinical validity evaluation system such as this one is to better inform the development of clinical genetic testing panels. A laboratory may choose to only include those genes with certain levels of evidence supporting gene disease association, for example, moderate or higher. One could argue that variants in genes with limited evidence or less would be difficult to interpret, potentially leading to more VUSs and confusion amongst the patient and provider. This could similarly be used for clinicians. How do you deal with variants in genes of uncertain significance? One may be less likely to base management decisions on genes with little evidence or may opt to pursue more aggressive follow-up for genes with mounting evidence. Additionally, an approach like this could be used to guide test ordering. A clinician could consider only ordering panels with established genes. ClinGen gene disease validity results are available through our website, as shown here. Each gene disease pair has a PDF document that displays an evidence summary as well as scores across the various categories and which PMIDs were used as evidence. Additional detail such as summaries of the particular papers is forthcoming. We hope that this has been a useful introduction to gene disease clinical validity. Please visit www.clinicalgenome.org for additional educational resources and to learn more about ClinGen initiatives. Please feel free to contact ClinGen by email at clingen@clinicalgenome.org with questions or feedback. Thank you.